North Carolina bride and groom wanted to make sure their family saw them tie the knot. So as Ken Lemon reports, they got married in the courtyard of the assisted living facility where the bride's grandfather lives. Brittany and her husband were going to get married in the mountains and come by here, Cortland Terrace, and say their vows in front of a window so that her grandfather could see. But the staff here invited them to get married right here in the courtyard. Then they opened a door so that he could be as close as possible. It happened at sunset two weekends ago. The bride's grandfather, Leroy Grigg, basking in the glow. More special than I could have ever imagined. She was just seven years old when her grandfather was in an accident that took his wife's life and left him in a wheelchair. And said, Papa, I'm going to be your nurse. If you need anything, I'll be here for you. She did everything she could for him. He told her he would never forget that, and he never did, even as his memory faded. When Brittany got engaged to Josh Feldman a year and a half ago, they knew the chances of her grandfather attending their dream wedding were slim. When COVID-19 shut down nursing homes, they thought that chance was gone until they found a possibility that meant the small wedding party had to wait in the parking lot. It was a no-brainer. We didn't want him to miss out on this. So. Brittany told her 95-year-old grandfather. He just cried and said, I'm the happiest man in the whole world. They say he cried at the wedding, too. During it, I would look over to him and do like a quick little wave and just seeing him wave back. Blow a kiss to Papa. In the fading hours of a long day in a ceremony that began with hand sanitizer and ended with a tongue-in-cheek kiss with masked faces, Josh and Brittany celebrated a wedding under strange circumstances, but perfect because of the people. No one's going to forget your wedding. The couple kept a teddy bear because they weren't allowed to come close to her grandfather. So every time they wanted to hug him, they hugged the bear instead. Back to you.